Mr. Fry Diablo at its best. Yes, welcome back to the Brooklyn Brothers Cooking Channel. Today, Chef Dom is going to show you how to make seafood Fra Diablo. It's a spicy garlicky tomato sauce. You're going to love it. But before we start cooking, I want to give a shout out to Abigail and her mom Alicia out in Florida. Great fans. All right, let's get cooking. Hey, everybody. We're going to get started here. We're going to make a, a pomodoro sauce for our lobster fra diavolo today. We're gonna blend up half of the can and the other half we're just gonna squeeze the tomatoes because you wanna have the tomatoes nice and chunky for this sauce, for the, for the fish. We got lobster, shrimp, clams, mussels. Nice. This is a great dish for uh, Christmas Eve. Oh yeah. <laughs> what, well, mom? I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> and the other half will, will squeeze up. Squash my That's it. All right, we got half a can of the whole plum tomatoes. I'm going to squeeze them with my hands. And by the way, I just cleaned my hands. They're clean. <laughs> if anybody writes in anything, don't. <laughs> All right, we're gonna chop up uh, our garlic for our sauce. Uh, we're not using onions, just garlic, olive oil, fresh basil, salt and pepper, and good tomatoes. And some red chili peppers. And some red chili flakes. Oh, all right, let's... All right, let's get some out. Olive oil. Oh, let me get this out. You know, pan. Nice. Throw our garlic in there. This was a very popular dish at uh, Daddy Jack's. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I think it was our biggest seller, the yeah. lobster fra diavolo. Yeah, this definitely was a staple at the restaurant. <clears throat> yeah. Nice. Nice basil. Mmm, smells so good. My God, what a smell. Especially when you break it up with your hands instead of cutting it with a knife. Yeah, yeah, it gives it, releases a lot more flavor from the leaves. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Our garlic is just about ready. I'm gonna throw our basil in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Snap right Watch out. Pop. It's gonna, oh, that it'll was bite you. I guess there wasn't very much liquid on that. <laughs> like the last time, man. It was crazy. Let's throw our uh, crushed tomatoes in. Hand crushed. <laughs> ah, nice. This gives it a nice texture, you know. Get chunks of tomatoes in the dish. Very nice. <laughs> oh man. All right. Now we're gonna add a little uh we're gonna just add a little bit of red pepper now because my mom can't eat real spicy food. But after we're done, I will uh add some more red pepper. Add some red pepper too. To my plate, anyway. <laughs> I like it really spicy. Salt. By the way, we have this. Video, we have a video with sauce already. So many times. <laughs> yeah. We are the red sauce uh, <laughs> chefs here. We love tomatoes. This is a southern Italian thing here. Nice. So how long we let that 
cook for? The sauce, not long, maybe 30 minutes. Oh, okay, good. You know? Beautiful. All right, we got our lobster, shrimp, clams, and mussels here for our lobster fried Diablo. Oh, look at that, uh, beautiful. Yeah, these are nice. Look at the size of that. Size lobsters. Yeah. It's still strong too. Look at that. What are they? About two pounds? One yeah, half, one of two. One of them is a little. This one's a little over two pounds. This one's about two pounds, and this one's about a pound and a half. Nice. And I want to give a shout out to my friends at Lefties, uh, Gus and Chris and Dana. They're uh, they're all siblings. They own a great restaurant in Addison called Lefties in Addison, Texas. Yes. Great food. Really, really uh, good. We've been friends for like. Uh, I say 35 years, and their restaurant has been there for about 28 years. Wow. And they time. do a good job over there. Their yeah. food is amazing. Oh, excellent. How are those lobsters going over there? Oh, they're ready. I'm going to take these out right now. Oh, beautiful. Oh, give me some butter. <laughs> give me some butter. All right, we're going to cool. We're going to run these on the cold water and cool them down a little bit. All right. I didn't cook them all the way because we're going to we want to cook them in the sauce. Nice. So, so we're just going to cool these down. Nice. That's hot or cold water. Okay. We got our lobsters uh, cooled down a little bit. Now we're going to just pull the meat out. And we're going to put this on the side. And we're going to split those also. And crack the claws before we put them in. And also, too, we're going to save all the uh, lobster shells that we have today because we're going to make a lobster bisque. We're going to make some fresh lobster stock in a couple of, in, a, in about a month we'll do it. Yeah. See, they're not cooked all the way. You don't want to cook them all the way. The roe's not cooked, but that's fine. We're going to cook it again in the sauce. And yeah. the nice sized tails, yeah. huh? See, they're still steaming? Yeah. <laughs> still cooking. You know, um, nice size claws. You don't have to use lobster, right, for this recipe if you don't want. You could just use any you can type. Do, no. You can do shrimp, uh, you know, scallops. clams, scallops. You can use uh, calamari. Yeah. Uh, basically, yeah. Whatever your preference. Yeah. Oh, and there we go. All right. Okay. All right. All right. We're just going to take our lobsters like that. And we're just going to. Cut them right down the middle. And we're gonna cook them in uh, we're gonna cook them in the shell. Nice. I know the roe is a lot of people freak out when they see the roe in a lobster, but normally when they're cooked all the way, it's a really it's as red as the you know the, the lobster itself. But yeah, it's nice sized towels. Yeah. Yeah, two pound lobsters, you know. Okay, we're gonna crack the claws now. I'm gonna get the rubber, the bands off there. That's a good I idea. Get a, I get a towel and put it over it because the juice is gonna fly everywhere and make a mess. Uh, you know, so good tip. we just put it like that, okay? And then you just hit it. That's just all. enough just to, you know. Make it easier to open when you're eating it. Right. There you go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man. Nice call. Uh, to saute our fish, first we're going to do the little neck clams because they take the longest to open. And you want to kind of time everything because you don't want to put the sh everything in there at the same time because the shrimp will overcook and so will the lobster. So the mussels and clams, the mussels open up real fast, but these little necks, they are... Uh, they take a long time. Okay. So we're gonna saute them in garlic and olive oil and white wine. Alright, let that fry up. We're gonna put our clams in there now. Let them cook a little bit. I said, hopefully they'll open up quick. So, because I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little wine in there. The white wine? Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover these up with this, with the, 
big pan we have here because we don't have a pan to fit the <laughs> have a lid. They'll, they'll open up quicker. Yeah. These little neck clams are stubborn little bastards. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah, one of them opened. Look at that. He must have heard me when I told him I was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So too, you got a little juice coming out of there from the clam juice, and give it a whole lot of flavor. All right, you know what? I think we can throw our uh, mussels in there now. We clean these really good because you know they have some of the mussels have the beard on them, and we got to get get those out of there. So, pepper. Okay. Now we're getting that? ready to throw our shrimp in there now. And the lobster we'll put in, you know, when these shrimp are about halfway done. We, went we, ahead. we need we okay. need a bigger boat. Okay, yeah. We went ahead and peeled and uh deveined the shrimp here. Alright, we're gonna put some salt. Yeah, water here for the pasta. Linguine. Linguine de Checo. De Chico. Cooking two pounds today. You as, can actually see how as, many people as can usual. We, how many people can we feed with this? Normal right people. Here? <laughs> Normal people. <laughs> how many do you think? Uh with all the, the pasta and all this fish, you can get about nice six uh six plates out of this. Yeah. You can just use calamari, mussels, clams, because they're fairly, you know, they're not so expensive. Right. I'll let this cook for about 10 minutes. Check them. That looks wonderful. wonderful. That looks awesome. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're going to get our lobster in here now. Right. Like I said, man, we need a bigger boat. Yeah. <laughs> put oh, another. Yeah. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little sauce on the top to let it to finish cooking it off. Yeah. The claws are fine. All right. Now we're gonna add our sauce to this. A beautiful mine in our. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Now that is a work of art. Yes. Look at that. Uh, smells unbelievable. Beautiful. Now we're going to cover this up for about two minutes. Check it out, mother. Mama. Yeah, we'll get some extra napkins. This is going to be messy, huh? That's going to be a messy dish. I'm getting ready. Messy but good. Yeah. <laughs> this is when uh, a bib would uh, be really good about now. Oh man, look at that. Here's our lobster fried Diablo. Oh, got some of that parsley on it. Mm. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Hey, we're ready to eat. Yes, sir. Let's eat. Oh.
Now that's Italian. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Put some little sauce on that. This is my plate, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what the hell anybody else is going to eat. All right. sauce is amazing. amazing. All the flavors of the fish. Yeah. And the sauce. Oh, look at that tail. Best tail in Texas. Your grandma used to use the, just the tails. Oh. It had more uh, meat in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. That box is so sweet. Mm -hmm. Perfect, too, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Very good. The bread will be out in just a minute. Nice Hurry up. Bread. <laughs> anyway, we're going to dig in, folks. Thanks for watching. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays, whatever you're Safe celebrating. Holiday. Uh, this is definitely, uh, should be, one of your seven fishes if you're celebrating an Italian Christmas Eve tradition. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Ciao.